Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Flutter. Now, what exactly is Flutter? Well, essentially, Flutter is Google's attempt at that age-old problem. I want to create an application, I only want to write the front end once, I want it to adapt to all kinds of hardware, and I want it to be cross-platform. That is essentially the problem that Flutter, just like pretty much every technology since Flash, has set out to solve. The thing is, Flutter has actually worked really nicely in the mobile space. iOS and Android applications created using Flutter have been quite nice, and we just got the release of Flutter 2, which becomes a heck of a lot more relevant. So first off, right now there is a developer conference going on called Flutter Engage. That's why there's all this Flutter-related news. Uh, but today, the one that we're really kind of focusing in on is the Flutter 2 announcement. And Flutter 2, this one is pretty big deal because a couple of things happen. First off, web is now considered ready for prime time. So with the same code base, you can target a web-based application, a mobile application for Android or iOS. But on top of that, they've also announced support for various different desktops. So now they're going to have native apps for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And the key thing is when they say native, they actually kind of mean it. Behind the scenes, uh, Flutter 2 is powered by the Flutter runtime. The Flutter runtime is written in C++ code. Your code is compiled down to a binary format using a language called Dart. And then it is the cross-platform graphic side of things is provided by a cross-platform library called Skia, S-K-I-A. On top of that, there is a graphics framework or um, like a presentation layer uh, for implementing using Google's material design front end. So that's basically the combination of packages that go together for Flutter. But with the Flutter 2 release, they've moved beyond the mobile framework um, and now 150,000 Flutter apps that are currently on the Play Store all can target the web and desktop for free, no rewrites. So that is a pretty big deal. Adding desktop and web applications on top, that's pretty huge. And the number of people actually using Flutter is quite impressive. So you got Microsoft, sorry, Google internally uses it for a ton of stuff, including Google One, Google Pay, uh, Google Nest Hub, Stadia, if they haven't fully canceled that yet, uh, Family Link, Google Ads, Google Shopping, Google Analytics, Google Search, and Google AdMob. So basically, Google are all in for front-end development using Flutter. But on top of that, a number of different users out there are using as well. The one big thing here, the one probably the largest announcement in Flutter 2 is that web support is now production ready. We actually looked, if you're a regular this channel, at a Flutter powered application. We'll see in just a few seconds which one that was. Uh, but it was actually a pretty impressive UI going on there. With the web side of things, they're going to support, and by the way, you are getting hardware accelerated 2D and 3D graphics in this cross platform. Uh, that's what the Skia is providing for you. But they're looking at it so you can do progressive web apps that combine the web's reach with the capabilities of desktop app, single page applications load once and then do round robins back to the internet. And then for being able to bring your existing mobile apps over to the web so you can have a shared code base between both experiences. So that is probably the biggest announcement there. But the other big thing about Flutter 2 is that it's now going to be available on desktop as well. And this is another one of those interesting announcements. We'll get back to that in just a second. So Flutter is pretty big in this regard in that you can now run it on mobile, web, all those considered production ready, and coming soon, or basically available now, uh, you can do beta level support for the various different desktop platforms out there or the various different browsers that are out there. So Flutter's reach is a heck of a lot bigger than it was. It's currently being used at Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Alibaba, eBay, Square, and so on. So this is definitely a popular framework. Now, if you want to get into more of the technical details of what Flutter 2 is all about, I have a hands-on technical article. It goes into some much more technical detail of what is in this release. But the big things today are Flutter 2's announcements that it can now support the desktop platforms and that web is is live. You can go ahead and do it. So if you've committed to Flutter for your mobile application development, you just got a number of new targets you could support. And theoretically, you don't have to change your code to make it happen. That's pretty big. So uh, you can see some of the people using Flutter right now. We got Realtor.com, Tencent, New York Times, Square, Google Assistant's front end, a number of different companies like Sonos, eBay, BMW. Uh, the list of people using it, it's, it's growing and growing. So pretty big names there, definitely. You're not seeing a lot of games and multimedia stuff. Um, the Stadia front end is built using it, but that's about it. We'll get back to a couple of game engines in a second. Now, one of the announcements that came out today, oh, sorry, I'm out of order here. One of the applications we looked at recently was Rive. And Rive is actually written, this application used for making vector-based graphics animation, this was written using Flutter. So this is the Flutter 2 uh, web targeting. So you can do full-blown desktop apps. You could do your game editor or tools using Flutter. We do have a proof of concept in the form of Rive. I did a video about it a little while back. I'll link that in the linked article down below if you want to go ahead and check out Rive. Now, 
the other announcement that came out of this, and this one is going to be a mixed bag for people I know for sure, but Ubuntu has announced that Flutter is now the default choice for future Ubuntu apps. So when they create new things, they are going to be creating them using Ubuntu. Interesting. I can see why people like it. It dislike it. It makes it easier for them to port away from Linux, which I don't think people are going to appreciate. Uh, but it does generally their software is pretty nice in the world of Linux. So that that is an announcement they are making. Uh, but as you can see from uh, some of the announcements, not not everybody is uh, is delighted here. And the other big thing here is, and this is the one challenge with Flutter. Flutter is built on Dart, and the number of people that know Dart is like. Well, basically, the number of people developing using Flutter because the only people using Dart are using Flutter and vice versa. So do you want to learn a new programming language? That is definitely an aspect of it. Now, I did mention earlier on there are a couple, and I'm literally using that word uh, in the literal sense. There are two major-ish game engines out there. So if you want to look at using Flutter uh, for game development, there's Flame. It's a 2D game engine made on top of Flutter. Uh, got some uh, details of it here. I will link this in the linked article down below. Let me know if you're interested in a Flutter-based game application. I can look into Flame a little bit closer. It's definitely the biggest of the options out there. And then there's another one called Sprite Widget, which is a beta 2D game engine for Flutter as well. So there are some live libraries out there. The nice thing is with Flutter, again, that ski layer does make it um, 2D and 3D accelerated graphics. So you should get more native -y type performance. You should get slightly better than HTML5. Like, you know, this isn't just a matter of, uh, you know, wrapping a web app and then getting wrapped web app type performances with the native runtimes, you should get much closer to native, probably more along the lines of what you project, what would expect from a C sharp application. Uh, I haven't actually checked out the speed of Flutter applications for real time performance, but theoretically, the performance should be solid. Now, it'd be interesting to see how well these guys work with uh, the Flutter 2, if at all, or if they need to have an update. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Flutter, it is available at flutter.dev. Uh, again, you would mostly use this for front end web applications, uh, you know, simple user interface type stuff. It's got some nice features. So you do have, uh, they're saying native level of performance. And then on top of that, they've got hot reload in there. So you should have nice iterative design speeds going on as well. And then the, the big thing, the selling point from the majority of people is the, um, the user interface layer, uh, the material design part of Flutter is kind of what appeals to people about using it. So if you want to make something with a beautiful front end UI, that is where Flutter really comes in. And flutter.dev is where you go if you want to learn more about Flutter. So anyways, that is it. Uh, Flutter 2 was just released today. Uh, the fact that it's available on all those other platforms definitely makes it more viable as an option. I don't know how many people want to go out and learn Dart. I, I looked at Dart in a while in the past. Basically, Dart and TypeScript came about at about the same time, and they both set out with the same mission of basically making type, uh, making JavaScript suck less. And um, I didn't really find anything offensive with Dart, but I don't really want to pick up another programming language just for something like this. And I imagine a lot of people are the same way, but I'd be interested to hear what your experiences with Flutter are. Does it actually get you that native level performance? And now that it targets all these various different platforms, now that you can, in addition to just doing mobile, you can do web and coming soon, you can target the major desktops as well. What do you think of Flutter? Is it a viable option for your next game tool or game project or your next website or something like that? Or no way. So there's the other problem with Flutter is Flutter is Google and Google abandons things even more than I do. So let me know what you think. Flutter 2 release. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.